everybody. Did you miss our fall 2018 book buzz? Well, if you did, you're in luck. Hi everyone, Jen Dayton, Collection Development Coordinator here at Darien Library. If you missed it, don't worry about it. I'm going to catch you up. The first book is The Dakota Winters by Tom Barbash. The Winters are a family that are living in the Dakota. The son is home from the Peace Corps, which just about killed him um, with dysentery and malaria. The father is also home because of his very public meltdown on his television talk show. Think a la Dick Cavett kind of thing. It's all here. It's New York City, 1979, gritty as anything. It is the most perfect representation of a time in amber that I've read in a very, very long time. I didn't want it to end because it would mean that I wasn't of a certain age anymore. Dakota Winters, terrific. And especially if you have men in your book club, because I think that um, there's a lot of discussion here for them too. This one is coming out in December. So Dakota Winters, Tom Barbash. Is this a debut? No, uh, no I, I believe he's written before, um, but boy, is this one terrific. Remember, we'll order it if you'd like it. The World According to Fanny Davis is my nonfiction pick for you all. Bridget Davis's mom, uh, Fanny, was a woman running a business in Detroit in the uh, mid, late 60s, early 70s. What kind of business was she running? She was running numbers. There was a whole shadow economy that people from the South were doing just so they could survive. They couldn't get loans, they couldn't own businesses. It was the Jim Crow South, but in Detroit. Um, but Fanny's mother made it work, but Fanny was never allowed to talk about it. Well, now she can talk about it. This is a terrific look at a culture that I had no idea existed. So for all you people that like to go culturally exploring, this is a great one for you. The World According to Fanny Davis by Bridget Davis. This is a debut, The Age of Light. Um, Lee Miller was a model in New York in the 1930s, and she decided life would be a whole lot more interesting in not being in front of the camera, but, being in, but, but taking the pictures herself. So she ditched her modeling career, went to Paris, and begged Man Ray to let her be his apprentice. She did. She not only became his apprentice, she became his muse and an artist in her own right. This is, one, this is a wonderful, wonderful debut. You go down a rabbit hole with this book, the likes of which you cannot imagine. Um, Age of Light by Whitney um, Scherer is terrific. I can't wait for you all to get this one. This one's coming out in February. Pre-pub buzz is so big for this. We've already so ordered 10 copies. I, you know, it's one of those books I'm almost sad that I've already read it because I won't, I won't, I won't get to read it for the first time again. It's one of those. Jean Thompson, um, she has been a National Book Award finalist. I think this one's going to put her over the top of that of that breach. Uh, Cloud in the Shape of a Girl. Three generations of Midwestern women living in a college town, making the same flippin' mistakes over and over and over again. Um, her writing is beautiful, and you just you you love you end up loving this grandmother this mother and this daughter um, I can't say enough good things about this the, the writing is absolutely amazing this one's coming out next month in October um, so you won't have long to wait for this one um, what to talk about in this gen there's so much to talk about um, like truly it. truly each generation was imprisoned by her sex her circumstances and what society thought they were able to accomplish and they were never allowed to go past that and the frustration that that led to for these ladies and then can the daughter break free of everything she's watched her mother and her grandmother go through Ooh, sounds good so good so good and then if you just want something really fun if your book group is just like oh well, i need something fun um the Orphans of the Salt Wind. This is a debut out of Great Britain. It's the story of a young girl who is an orphan, but she's adopted by this lovely family, or lovely man and wife. She goes to live in their adorable home on the edge of a salt marsh. It's 1939. She's told she can never go in the salt marsh because there's quicksand, there's all sorts of things. But the husband has grown up on this land and knows it like the back of his hand. One day, a German fighter plane gets shot down. He goes off to see if he can help the pilot who's in the plane, and he never comes back. But in his stead comes a man wearing his coat. 
It's awesome. Good. It's awesome. <laughs> it's awesome. Um, there's a sort of predatory neighbor who's lurking. Um, this is just, I think, I think this would be, for those of you that love English Gothics the way I love English Gothics, um, this, this is terrific. It's, it's, it's would be great for people who loved atonement. It's that sort of novel. Um, you know, can you, can you re, can you rewrite what you've done wrong in the past? Um, and that's what the narrator of this novel is grappling with. So, Orphans of the Salt Wind, it's a debut. I'm really excited for it. Sounds like it could be a BBC television production. It really too. could be. Yeah, it really it could be. And it's good. got, you know, it's got all the little, it's got the idiosyncratic villagers, it's got the predatory neighbor, Ooh. it's got the little orphan girl. It's fabulous. Sounds like a good one. We hope that you will take a little interest in some of these books. Let us know what you'd like to read and we'll be sure to get them for you. Goodbye, everybody. Bye.